Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator, and today I'm going to play with my favorite pigment, Aurora Chrome. Have a preview of this pretty nails in here. Absolutely amazing combination with the snowflakes, and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Also, we are trying to produce as many videos as possible, posting almost every day, and I hope you're really enjoying it. Let's start! And let's play with some blue nails for a change. So we have got 220 color, which we'll use for uh, for this set. Absolutely amazing for a winter time. And I love the coverage of it as well. So I'm really trying to work it through the, the layer, like I wanted it as thin uh, as possible. And even trying to apply it as thin as possible, we get an amazing uh, one layer cover. Uh, which is fantastic. Let's do the same on this one. Gosh, I've got so many different ideas with the blue um, for a winter time, uh, as I will be probably showing you a few if you want to see it. And then another one, remove the dust particle, we don't need that. So I'm really working it through it to make sure it's not too thick. You can see the brush strokes and I'm pressing quite decent. Fantastic. So once this is done, we can grab our, guess what? Yes, paint on French gel again. So paint on French gel. No, that's not the one. That's the one which is mixed already. And then I'm going to take a sponge as well. And sponging for this time of the year is fantastic, like absolutely amazing. So the first tip is cooked. Let me just grab it. And then using the watercolor brush, we are going to slap on a drop of the paint on French gel. And then using the sponge, like look what I've got. I've got the fluffy bits and pieces on my sponge, so make sure we do remove it. And then we are going to dab some background in here with white. And I love it because it looks almost like um, uh, snow, like um, a shadows of the snow. Absolutely amazing. Depending on the strand of your white, you would go one or two layer. I might do on some one layer and on the others, uh, maybe two layers. So let's do one on the first one. And then I've got this one ready. We can do maybe two layers on on this one. Oh gosh, Dorota, why I'm so messy. I need this. Dab it, dab it, dab it. You can go different kind of shapes as well, like so. Let's do different one in here. Another one. Oh, I got some fluff, let's remove it. So wipe it off with your sponge, tap it on the form, and then that's you done. Okay, they are cooking, so I can clean the mess I have created. And then grab the first one. I will do the two layers on the first one, will be easier. I think in a real life it's even more intense. I'm not sure how the camera is showing, but it looks awesome. Good for is it? Perfect. I will do it actually too on the 
no, this ones are, this one is nice, let's tap it in more. Sometimes when you've got enough product on your sponge and the layer is cured, you can see it, I'm not even adding more product, I'm using the one which I already uh, have got on my brush. Okay, this one is ready to go. So our next step, we are going to grab some High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. And I need to fish for mine because it's just at the end. Apply it on the entire nail. Try to make sure you have no fluffy bits and pieces. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm checking it under the light, how the light reflects and if there is any dust particles or flaps, I'm just removing it. The fluffy bits and pieces can be quite common if we're using the sponge technique, uh, so make sure you remove them all. And this one for Aurora pigment. This was actually a question as well. well let's cook this, this one. And the third one, I need to actually start counting the time. So let me check the timing. Okay, 10. And I'm going to tell you about the timing as well. Timing is extremely important uh, for Aurora pigment. You want to cure it at exactly 60 seconds. Uh, if you cure too short or too long, it might not work. And we are, the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel doesn't have inhibition layer. So, oh gosh, I am lost. I'm not sure if that's the one I was first, but that was second, okay. Um, I'm hoping that's the first one and it was cured 60 seconds. So there is no inhibition layer uh, and chromes work on top of the inhibition layer. No, on top of no inhibition layer. So Mermind glitters or pigments, you can rub it in with the sticky layer. The chromes, you use high shine no wipe top gel to rub them in. Okay, so you can see it. We can get an absolutely amazing color and I love it how it looks on blue and white because depending on the light angle I can see those lighter places here. Okay the second one is ready. So wrap this in and this one will give me a slightly different colors because I've got different amount of the white in there. I love it over blue. Oh my goodness so pretty. So you can see it here it will be more pinky and then more blue at the edges. Can you see it that? So it's more, yeah, can you? Oh yes, awesome. Um, so you can also do it more intense background. And to be honest, you would do the entire set like this um, and it will look absolutely amazing. Now we need to remove those bits and pieces and move on into the next part. In order for the chromes to stay on well, I usually give it scratches to the free edge and the reason for it is we've got high shine no wipe top gel which is a top coat with no inhibition layer and gels needs those inhibition layer or a rough surface to stick in one on top of uh, each other. Let's grab our paint on French gel and we are going to uh, paint the most amazing snowflake on this one. So let's do some Let's do some dot in here. Then like almost like a flower petal. Four of them. So pretty. Then in between we line. I'm not going to rush this snowflake. Then let's go around the first petals. So place some bigger dot 
and then go around it. Actually, I'm going to use the dotting tool for that. Because now I've got some product which I can easily drag it. The full concentration. Okay, then we can prolong it, prolong it. Now on this one we are going to grab the dotting tool again. And do three dots on each arm. And then just drag through them. I already love the look of it. The frozen needles. Okay, I'm just going to perfect these shapes. And then we can decorate with some single snowflakes as well. Drag it through it. And give it a cure. On this one, for a change, we are going to go very simple. So dot. Dot, dot, dot. Drag it. So depending on the size of the dots, we get a slightly different look. Now clean my brush and use the product which you've got in the middle to do the other arms. Gosh, you can do so many different types of snowflakes. And then the dotting tool, but we need to clean it because I want to add a tiny, tiny wee dots. Okay, on the top we are going to add more. Let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> I'm dragging this one. And now I can give it a cook. 
I like the 3D look of the snowflakes, but we cannot do sugared looks or 3D look on all of them. Uh, so this one, because it's quite rich anyway, I will just um, decorate it and top coat it uh, so we will have flat snowflakes for a change. Again, drag it, add some arms and then we will paint it inside. So arm, oh gosh, the rota, what you doing? Arm, arm, arm. And then let's paint it. Inside. You can see the tip of my brush is broken. So I need to place it in the right angle, otherwise it wouldn't paint nice lines. And uh, some of you say like, oh, I think stamping would be a better option. I think like um, mm, snowflakes out of the stamping plates, yes, they are fab, like don't get me wrong, they are amazing, but they look different. They look different to the ones which are freehand and you can clearly uh, tell the difference uh, they have been uh, stamped uh, compared to the freehand ones and I do prefer the look of the freehand ones uh, especially if we want to create those 3D look there we are cook it in now using the base gel we are going to add a very small detail and then we can top coat the entire design. Crystal sticking with the base gel stays fantastic. You guys know that, especially the one, those of you who have tried it, uh, they look absolutely amazing. So, and no trouble to stay on. There we are. And since this is so delicate look, I'm going to use Pearls for a change. Oh my goodness, it is really nice, amazing. Let's cook it. Grab my brush away from the light. Do a pearl here. If it doesn't want to come off from your um, from your gem picker the wax picker, that's mean you have not enough base. Uh, and this is also a good indication to you to apply it more so the gems are going to stay in. I know this one is hardly showing through, but I still love it. There we are. And the last one, let me see if we can place it. Yes, of course we can place a wee pearl in here as well. Very elegant set. I would love to wear it. Actually, I might get something similar. Guys, I'm going to get something similar, definitely, on my nails, like a um, white and blue with some Aurora pigment. Unbelievable. So, high shine, no wipe top gel. We have to top coat everything because obviously we've got some chrome, which is uh, not top coated yet. And when I'm using the pearls, I would still top coat them. So I don't top coat the crystals, but I do top coat pearls. I do top coat golds, bits and pieces. Um, so give it a top coat to it. It looks more frozen uh, with the top coat over it. Uh, I'm going to actually show you on this one and this one, so the difference. So when we top coating, we're losing those 3D uh, effect. And most of the times uh, for a winter time, I do do it to my clients, um, the, the 3D look. But I wanted to try something different. Check how the light reflects. Once I'm happy, give it a cook. And the last one, 
So very quick also to do it, uh, even that we have freehanded and the design. It could actually look quite nice and matte and shiny too, um, because matte gives those frosted, frosted results. But let me show you, I've got some 3D one here. So I've got also a snowflake, which is more of a 3D look. Um, and that looks quite, uh, quite nice and pretty um, for, a, for a winter months. But let's see them all together. So that's the first one. First snowflake here. So pretty, like it, it does look like a frozen Niels. <laughs> did you watch it, guys? Yes, I did watch it quite a few times. Olivia was pretty little uh, when the movie came out. So we did, we all watch it actually. And then we was all singing it in the house as well. There we are. I love this set. Uh, such a simple, elegant uh, look and you can see it at, and can you see like all those lights shifting through it uh, with different colors. Absolutely fantastic. Very delicate and elegant. I'm sending you glittery hugs and bye for now.